are in the Shelf Map Museum in Mysore. It is very near to the Sandcraft Museum. So today it is a museum run for Suvarna Swami World. So let us get in and see. And there are many exhibits here which uh, which is qualified for the Guinness Book of World Records. So let us go in and check out. This is the huge massive idol of Lord Ganesha which has qualified for the Guinness Book of World Records. The whole idol is hollow and it is the handy work of Dr. Radha Mallappa. <laughs> So, life and life dedicate natural colors. We have the banana of your city. Bun of your city. Bun of your city. Either even a but it is a great effort of a lifetime achievement. State I to, really feel. State awards, so national, international, doctorate, all that. Very good, very good. Uh, you know, just see that tourism should be boosted. That is what I really feel. Because if there are some jaga, big on the side, and that too made single-handedly, it is really great. And here is a huge lamp made out of only conches. There's huge various conches here. Lot of shells to be with the base. Here she has recreated the scene of Ashiva Daya. We see Ashiva made out of shells. We also see the Naga, the serpent on Shiva's head, and Nandi, the sacred bull, is also present here. And here we have a Brahmi performing the puja. This is another huge statue of Lord Ganesha. We see the serpent on his head. And the crown is very neatly made with mother of pearl. She has used mother of pearl there. And that is the one which is giving the shiny finish there. And here we have the Ganesha's mother. That was also being very well. She has used chips 
of shells for creating this. The orange color dhoti has been done with a lot of shells and we also see there is nice detailing on the border also. Here the Dashavatara has been depicted very meticulously. Matsya, Kurma, Varaha, Narasimha, Vamana and this is Lakshmi Narayana, Parishurama, Shri Rama, Krishna, Baudha and Kalki. Look at the creativity of this wonderful artist friends. Here we can see Various waste materials have been used meticulously by Dr. Radha Mallappa to create wonderful pieces of art. So friends, I have the architect of this whole beautiful world of shells. She is uh, Dr. Radha Mandapa. We are so privileged to have her here. So I but you are so, so creative. You are so creative. Kasadinda Rasa now heard it. But the Rasa Rasa Swada ne apko hide. And I idella na na lella board salvatha idha ne wo. Beka the shells ab idella tarsi maari thara. Idha maari or onta. But where do you source your shells from? Shells shells shells. Illa purchase hoye. All these art pieces have been done by the talented artist Mrs. Dr. Radha Mallappa. The orange cases of these beautiful aquariums have also been done using only shells.
These are colorful exquisite flower bouquets made using shells. Lighting has also been provided to many of them. This is the model of Lakshmi Mata. The lamps have also been done using shells and conches. This is the penguin parade. Lots of corals have been used to make this arrangement. Flowers are stuck on the corals. Here we see hordes of tortoise being created using shells. And this is Mata Saraswati all in white holding the veena which is also being made using shells. This is Lord Hanuman in Ravana's court where he prepares a high throne for himself. Please notice the conch being used as a maze. Exhibits here have been neatly showcased in glass cases. Let's now visit the replica of Taj Mahal. There is also a souvenir shop which sells shell craft items like hair clips, earrings and many more. Hope you have all liked the tour of Seashell Museum friends. Please do like, share and subscribe to Suvarna's Hobby World. That's all for today. It's a bye bye for now.